Hey there, my lovely Libras. It's Lori. I just want to take a quick moment before I do your daily reading to say thank you so much to my very first super thanks um, community member donations. I want to give a shout out to Lori Beisel and Jennifer Rupp. I hope I'm saying both of your last names last correctly. Either way, oh my gosh, ladies, thank you so much for that. I really, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. This Libra community is absolutely amazing. I love each and every one of you. If you are a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming back time and time again. I, it tells me how many... I, ha, I have almost all of my subscribers come back to my channel. I mean, almost every single one of them. So that tells me that you guys really do care. I appreciate that. Um, if you are new here, welcome, welcome. And I hope you find something that resonates and that you'll uh, consider coming back in the future. I would also invite you to join our awesome Libra community. They're the best. You can do so by leaving uh, likes, comments, subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you. Okay. Let me cut this deck and we will go ahead and start your daily reading. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you. I cannot tell you enough, okay? Queen of Cups is your overall energy right now. Eight of Swords. The Star card. Well, that's good. Eight of Wands. Double Eights right next to each other, too. Whoa, two major arcana right next to each other. The High Priestess, the Six of Pentacles, the Magician. Three major arcana in a row down here. The Four of Wands, awesome. And the Two of Pentacles. That is just incredible. That The energy coming off here is incredible. Oh my goodness. So last night or, you know... Before you got up this morning, or before you got up and started your day, or night, whenever it was, you had an idea to start something fresh. You may have made an offer to somebody to start something new. Okay, so you wake up and you're feeling all in your feels. Okay, you're feeling really comfortable. You're at peace. Actually, I'm getting you're a little bit stressed. I'm, I'm hearing that you're wondering about the response that you're going to get from that that offer, okay? But you are feeling good, you're happy, you're calm, you're you know, you're you're a little emotional, but internally externally you look fine, internally you're a little wrapped up, okay? You're not you're not horrible, just a little bit. And you're wishing on a star here. You're really hoping that whatever that is really takes off, okay? Your, your, your intuition tells you that it will. Now, you've got the star, the high priestess, and the magician all together. The energy here, look at this, looking up, straight at us, and down. You're pulling everything together. And that is the ma traditional magician energy. They're so, as above, so below, okay? If it can happen in heaven, it can happen down here. Oh my gosh, that is so incredible. This is incredible. And you do feel like, if you don't feel like it, I'm going to tell you, karma's coming back here. Karma's coming back to pay you a visit, and it's all good karma. It is going to bring you towards your goals, your happiness, a happy home, happy life, celebrations. So if you're worrying about this person's response, you will be hearing from them, and I'm, I'm, I'm hearing very good things, okay? You may still not be getting your answer, though, by the end of the day. Okay, and that's funny because I'm actually feeling like this is very, very much a one-day, <laughs> like 24, 48-hour um, energy here, which is pretty cool. Usually it just goes on and on. So let's go ahead and clarify some more here, see what more of a message we can get. Can we clear? I just want to point out that the Magician card is already flipped over. You've got the Magician card right here. That is incredible, okay? I mean, just incredible. Let me uh, take a quick peek here and make sure. Out of all the cards that could have been turned over, that was the one. 
that was the one okay that is just I've got chills thinking about this you are working some true magic here and I'm also hearing that um, spirit has you all the way has your back okay they're helping you to get what you want because you have worked very hard and they know oh my gosh they're trying to help you reach your goals Queen of Cups <laughs> Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands here this is incredible energy this is I mean I'm I'm not even fooling around with this okay oh my god with a, it's destined Whatever it is that you're wishing for here, this is destined. This could be a person. This could be a job offer. Um, something new that you want to lay. A, you, you, you offered something to start something with somebody. It could be career. It could be a romance. I mean, it was a pentacle. So I'm thinking it's more um, earthly good job type thing but it could be anything okay it could be a relationship okay let's go ahead and clarify the eight of swords here oh yeah okay so i'm being told don't don't keep yourself all up in your head over this it's going to happen you're, you're feeling you're going to be feeling elated you're going to achieve your goals which is oh my gosh Oh my gosh, this is incredible. And <laughs> Oh my gosh, you've got the two of cups here. That's that's like a soulmate. I mean, that is a soulmate coming in, okay? You've got a king of pentacles here around you that is influencing the situation somehow. Oh, look at this. You got the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune, and then you boss up. King of Cups is showing himself already. So, okay, I, I want to go on and clarify the Eight of Wands next. I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it whichever way they tell me to. All right, let's get clarification of the eight of wands you are ready you are ready to strike out on this relationship or this business venture whatever this is but you are like just i'm also hearing i'm jumping on my own skin waiting to hear back from this person i am just ready to start this i'm ready to go 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 oh my gosh look star card star card you're you're wishing on a star here you've got so much hope for the future you really believe, and I don't doubt it, that there will be major healing if this will happen. If you can make this happen. Well, I'm telling you, I'm getting the vibes that it, you won't be making it happen. The chariot card here, okay? Going in a brand new direction. You have put the hard work in or you are willing to put the hard work in. King of Wands could be around you influencing the situation. King of Pentacles would be somebody who's very business savvy, smart, um, knows money, is always grounded. And I don't mean like in trouble, <laughs> like I was as a kid. I'm talking about grounded, down to earth. Um, yeah, people trust them to give them good financial advice. So there could be something here. Could be something here with a job, okay? Or maybe just investing. Maybe you're taking that little page of pentacles and trying to figure out where to put it so that you can reach your goals, okay? There's so many scenarios here, so many. Which, again, I should mention, um, I do have openings for um, personal reading, so if anyone wants one, go ahead. My week next week, I only have two books, so go ahead and uh, pick your... Let me know if you want one, okay? All you have to do is... Uh, open up the description box below the video and I'll email me at the address that you see there. I can't say it on here because then the it's it's an issue. So anyways, just email me at that address and I will send you all the information that you need. Um, and keep an eye and ear out, my Libras. I am going to be doing something very nice for you guys here very soon, okay? All right. <laughs> yeah I just got a card okay so let's clarify I mean I wasn't asking for clarification there so I'm just going to keep moving I think that's good page of cups 
usually this is my apology card. But you know what? I'm not getting that. I'm getting that you are feeling just so creative. Like there's nothing you can't manage. You um <laughs> you can make you can talk to fish. Okay? That's what I'm hearing is like you have a connection here. Like you you feel hooked up to the to the divine. Like you are receiving some major downloads. Okay. Your your angels are talking to you. They're giving you information. You're listening to them. You are paying attention. You are hooked up. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the six of pentacles here, please. So I'm glad there was a different meaning on that page of cups besides an apology card. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I told you justice is going to be served in the form of karma. Something that you did in the past that was good and beneficial for someone else, you did it without thinking about yourself at all. You did something for somebody else, and that is coming back to you. Okay, the other thing could be is that you suffered wrongly because of somebody else, okay? So, like, you were falsely accused of something and whatever. You lost money. You lost a car, I heard. Um, some of you, ooh, you might have done, you know, some community time, jail time. Falsely, you were wrongly accused. And justice has been served here. Okay? And karma is going to come in and make it even better. Make it even better. Yes, yeah, somebody somebody was cheating here. Somebody was doing whatever they wanted to do to win. Okay? So, justice has been served or will be served here. Oh, my gosh. I just picked up the cards to shuffle. And look at this. The Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. It was destined that the Sun was going to come out and justice was going to be served. Look at all these major arcanas. Do you guys not see that? That's three major arcana right there in one card four five six seven eight no seven that's just incredible eight the fool eight the number eight it's playing big in your in your reading right now so if you haven't been getting major downloads start paying attention to that synchronicities okay the number eight that's going to be really big for you I have a feeling somebody's going to be messaging you, texting you, calling you, sending you a, a letter um, about this situation really quick. It's going to come in out of nowhere. It's going to come in fast. All right, let's clarify the Four of Wands here. Yeah, you're going to accomplish your goals. You put in the time. You've done the time. You've done the hard work. Whatever you're, you started last night, it's going to take off. Look, now you have the Ace of Wands. That is an inspired, divinely guided, um, fresh new start. A victory for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Libras, I don't know what's going on for you guys, but I, I wish I was a Libra right now. I mean, Aries are supposed to be really lucky this year. It's supposed to be our year. Um, oops, those cards came out and I kept shuffling, so I was meant to. Um, I heard, but this is fantastic. These readings have been incredible. What are you doing, Bug? Go away. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Clarifying the star card. Wishing on a star. Your dreams are coming true. You had the Page of Pentacles here. You've built up to the Knight of Pentacles, okay? You, already, it's like going to happen for you that quickly. There's things you do not know that are working behind the scenes here that is going to cause incredible, incredible abundance here, happiness here. Oh my goodness. I just saw I didn't roll the die again. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so you've got some strong Leo, Virgo, Aries, Taurus. 
um, Cancer and Gemini. Sorry about that. Totally forgot. But yeah, there's something going on behind the scenes that you do not know anything else about. And I'm also hearing you are being divinely guided, okay? This is like faded. That's what the Wheel of Fortune means. It, this was supposed to happen. And I'm getting it because of something you did in the past for someone else or because you got wrongly accused of something. So keep the faith is what I'm hearing, okay? Oh my gosh, and it's the high priestess and the high priestess. So your intuition is also telling you something big is coming. You can feel this. You can absolutely feel this coming. Let's clarify this high priestess here, please. And I don't, oh, I just looked at the deck, look, the holy grail, the fresh start of all starts, you know? Okay, let's clarify the high priestess here, please. What an incredible reading. <laughs> Clarification of the High Priestess, please. <sighs> oh my goodness. This was the first one to pop. The Chariot, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Holy Grail. Oh my gosh. Your life is heading in a completely different direction. Some of you have been hurting for money because of what happened here. And this I'm telling you, this new beginning that you have started, it is going to bring in so much wealth. It is going to bring in a sense of security, self-esteem, Okay, self-esteem came through big with the Queen of Pentacles. Fresh start in every aspect of your life. And I just told you it was on the bottom of the deck. There's an incoming message, okay? Just wait to hear for it. I mean, don't sit around waiting, but it'll happen, okay? Yeah, I got the magician here, or the magician. The hermit came out like this, and I was looking at the magician, but what I'm getting is... is you're halfway there. You are halfway to receiving it all, to total enlightenment, to getting all the answers that you need, okay? To being able to lead yourself away from this. Pick your own direction. You're halfway there. You're halfway there. Stand firm, okay? That's the seven of wands there. Just stand firm. All right, let's clarify the magician. And one of those bugs just got me right in the throat. Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you glow up here, I'll bet. Or do... It's below this. Yeah, somebody, somebody's somebody been watching you and seeing how you you were living your life and what you were doing. And that's where the karma's coming in. Now you, for, by this point, you fully got all this information. You are now enlightened. You've got all of the information and you've got your independence. Whoever it is up here that I was talking about earlier, you've got your independence. Justice will be served. Okay. But you're going to get your freedom. You're going to be able to stand on your own two feet. You're going to have enough of the earthly goods, money, um, Cars, house, home. People are going to respect you, okay? People are going to see your loyalty. They, oh, your loyalty here. I know that means something to somebody, but I have a feeling it means something to everybody that this is resonating with because that loyalty is what you did initially. You did something for somebody without like i'm hearing sacrificing yourself or without thought for yourself you really stepped up you really did okay got the knight of cups there let's go ahead and clarify this two of pentacles what's going on here yeah there's definitely been a major imbalance queen of wands Oh, you're going to have options. 
Hmm. Got the judgment card here now, too. And that's going to be against whoever pulled the sneaky stuff. Temperance. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. And there's the Ace of Pentacles for the huge foundation. You're building your foundation with this. This Queen of Wands here. This could be who you were involved with that you made the sacrifice for. So the Queen of Wands would be like a um, possibly a Leo Sag, um, Leo Sag or Aries fire sign, um, but strongly Leo. Somebody who you would have determined as being loyal, like they would have done the same thing for you, is what I'm hearing. And that's why this karma is paying off. They would have done the same thing for you, and I'm not getting that. I'm sorry, I got one of those bugs right in my mouth, you know, flying around my mouth again. I wasn't supposed to say whatever I was about to say. Okay, so this person can be passionate, inspired, or inspiring. She's queen, okay, whether it's male or female. She's royalty, okay. Could be a mother figure. Somebody who takes charge, uses her intuition and goes forward, very confident in her own decisions. So I hope that gives you a clue as to who it is. There may be options, choices here. Let's go ahead and, oh, let's see. I'm just going to finish the shuffle. Yeah, temperance just showed up again. So that tells me this is out of balance. See how it's out of balance here? This is... Yes, it's the two cups, but this is temperance. Okay, so this is two of pentacles. This is temperance, where your things are calming down. Magic is happening, okay? So, for your outcome, nine of pentacles, six of swords, and the knight of wands. Oh, my gosh. This is incredible. This is your independence, by the way. The ability, all that stuff that I was just talking about with the Queen of Wands and the uh, Nine of Pentacles. No. The Queen of Pentacles is here. I, it must have been in the cut. Anyways, um, independence, freedom, being able to stand on your own two feet. People looking at you with respect. Um, you're noteworthy, okay? You've got wisdom here. You've got truth on your side. I just realized there's all these herbs hanging here to dry. There's a cauldron here. Some of you may be green witches, white witches, but I'm getting a strong sense of um, medicine man or medicine woman. Really connected to nature. You're going to have such a beautiful, beautiful energy here. And you're going to move into a, a beautiful place. Okay? You've got everything you need right in that bag. Okay? So you're going from the storm into a nice, nice place. And you're going to be on fire, charging in, all fired up. Just oh, just look at the energy in that card. The happiness, the creativity coming out on the fire drum here. That stallion back there rearing up. Yeah, this is beautiful. So that's your outcome. <laughs> whatever this situation is, this is a beautiful, beautiful situation. So whatever you offered up, before you went to bed. Could have been a prayer. Your prayers were answered. Okay. I am not seeing romance here, but I'm not saying it's not. I mean, we do have the Two of Cups. We do have the Queen of Cups twice, so I guess that could be um, romantic. But I'm still, 
I think this is funny. I usually feel like a daily reading is um, more just so I give you a, a message every day versus this happening in, you know, 24 to 48 hours, or yeah, 24 to 48 hours. Um, this feels very specific, like it really will happen within the next 48 hours. So drop me a comment. Let me know if this is your your message. Claim it. I'd be proud to claim this. This is incredible. All right. And if it resonates with you in any portion whatsoever, it doesn't have to completely resonate with you. But if any portion of it resonates, take it. It's yours. Okay. Stormfields in my book is right here. I'm being told I need to find something in this message here. This too shall pass. So, something in the past, okay. I'm reading, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm being told to just read it to you. It says, an uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent-up energy needs release, just as a storm in nature must break. For these events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another person will benefit you later. Wow, I'm getting chills. The sun will shine again and new growth, look at this, new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little. That just gave me chills. I mean, it literally gave me chills. And that's why I was told to read that instead of just um, going with the intuitive message. Golden Palace. Yeah, you're, um, what was the number? Nine on this, okay. Five here. Or, yeah, total is five. There is always enough. So no matter what you went through, it says here, the Golden Palace card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth, and prosperity. It may also indicate emotional fulfillment as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that's long overdue. The message here is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have, no matter how abundant your life is. Instead, it comes from what you are, how authentically you're living your life, and how much love you're willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible rewards, but things come and go, and knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now. Share the wealth. And that ties back into this karma, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles here, knowing your self-worth, being respected, being looked up, you know, people looking up to you. Yeah, rock bottom. I don't know why, but they're telling me, read this. Surrender and acceptance are the keys to freedom. You can't ask for anything better. I'm not going to read you that. I don't need to read you that, they said. That tells everybody you exactly what you need to know. And you have the strength. There is something in here, though. Your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith and a higher power. You gave it up in prayer last night, and here you are still. Now you're receiving it. That is you receiving the, the abundance and the downloads and the messages. And, oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And look, the number 11. So number eights and number elevens have been big for you guys today, okay? You are calm within, no matter the fluctuation of outer conditions. Didn't I say earlier something about you being, like, 
externally you look calm, but internally you're you're like going crazy waiting. Yeah, okay. Now it's telling you you are calm within no matter the fluctuation of circumstances around you because this is going to balance everything out for you. This is a beautiful message, my friends. All right, don't forget to like, um, comment, drop me a comment, claim this if it's yours. Also, subscribe to the channel to be uh, a part of this awesome Libra community. And if you'd like a personal reading, just email me at the ad address that's in the description box below. Again, thank you so much, Lori and Jennifer, for those super things. This Libra community is incredible, but thank you, too. I really do appreciate that. All right, everyone. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.